Hi, my name is Gary. I am black Canadian and I grew up in the largest black community in Canada. And now I'm teaching internationally in Singapore. Hi, my name is Narin. My family is Indian. I was born in Kenya. I uh, grew up in Toronto teaching in Singapore and about to move to Manila to teach there. I remember, um, actually, you know, I used, I was never really a reader, um, not until recently. My wife, who's a sixth grade teacher, started giving me books that interest me and also um, giving me the opportunity to see people that look like me. One of those authors was Jason Reynolds. I remember reading his books and thinking about family barbecues, uh, heating my house with the oven, uh, the joy of going to a funeral. Um, one of those things that I feel are super exciting about these books is that I can consistently think and reminisce about the time that I have in my community. What I was so excited to put those books in Gary's hand is because I knew he was about to have an experience seeing himself in those books that I don't think I've quite still had yet. One of the reasons I think that I loved Anna Green Gables, she was an orphan. And my parents had just passed away and I was figuring out what that meant. But Lucy Maud Montgomery had created this character who had gone through an obstacle that no one around me had gone through and not only made her this fun-loving and bright, intelligent girl, she was the hero of her own story. And for me, even though I didn't know it then, that was incredibly powerful. All right, so what is the perfect stack of books? Do you know? I know, but let's see how much you do. I believe the perfect stack of books definitely resembles a diverse world. I mean, all of us want to see ourselves in books, and how great does it feel when you're reading and you can see yourself within the words and within the pictures? And that is what we want for our students, right? So books that reflect the diversity of our world, not just in terms of gender or race or culture, but also reflects the diversity of the struggles and challenges that we face in life. One of those books that I love is called Those Shoes. And one of the reasons why I love this book so much is because it talks about a variety of issues that a lot of us go through. Uh, poverty, friendship, community, um, hardship, and I definitely see myself in this book. I remember when I was in, I don't know, I think I was in fifth grade, and I wanted a pair of shoes, and I couldn't get them. I also remember my mom and dad going back on bills so I get these shoes to play basketball. Um, this is definitely a book that looks like me, um, and I'm sure it looks like a lot of you as well. For me, the most incredible book is Love by Matt Della Pena and illustrated by Lauren Long. And in this book, I think what Matt does so well, what he sets out to do, he wrote about this in a blog, was to represent all the different aspects that come with love. And sometimes love is magical and comforting and utterly beautiful in the way we want it to be. And other times love is hard and relationships are tough. And as a child trying to understand that adult world, that is hard. But Matt does it in a way that is so profound that kids just naturally gravitate towards it. They will go from the back of the room to that carpet to closer and closer until they are looking down on those pages, totally seeing themselves in this book. These are not the only books in our stack. Um, we want to continue to find books to help our kids see a diverse world. We want books to look like us. I think so. <laughs> yeah. What's in your stack? <laughs> <laughs>